Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone, welcome to SaaS Word Service Now. This is ITSM Implementation Mock Training. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can configure and customize your instance to implement ITSM applications in ServiceNow platform. Who should do this course? This course is for ServiceNow admins and developers. It is for ServiceNow professionals who want to learn how to implement ITSM applications in ServiceNow. Before we start this series, there is an important point which should be noted that this tutorial is just a mock of configurations and development which can be performed in the instance while implementing ITSM applications. This is not a real implementation. So let's see the agenda of this course. We will start with introduction of the course. Next is we will create users in ServiceNow instance. We will learn how you can configure incident form. We will learn how you can configure mandatory fields on the form. We will configure category and subcategory choices. We will configure state choice list and behavior. We will also configure field mapping when creating a problem from incident. We will configure assignment rules. We will configure incident priority. We will configure incident notifications. We will also configure automatic closure of resolved incident. We will configure surveys. We will configure SLAs for incident management. We will configure auto assignment of a problem record. We will configure change management form. We will configure mandatory fields on change form. We will configure risk conditions for change management. We will configure maintenance and blackout schedule for change management. We will configure emergency change. We will configuring creating of a change request from a problem. We will configure change approval policies. We will configure standard change catalog. We will configure copying a change request. We will configure security rules. We will configure change notifications and we will see how you can create a service catalog. We will learn how you can create a catalog item template and we will see that how exactly you can create a catalog item. So this is the agenda of this course. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.